Hey everybody, Walker here. Welcome back to Create Above and Beyond. Yes, we are going to do Chapter 3A today. We're going back in time. Actually, this isn't even considered Chapter 3A, is it? It's kind of just a brand. Well, I guess it is 3A. Let's just, uh, where is the overview? I guess, I guess... Yeah, yeah, it's 3A, so we're, we're taking this branch. Uh, we tried to go around Chapter 4 by going through the alternative path through alchemy. Uh, it's just going to be too much work. We need blaze rods to do that, and unless I get this uh, trade depot up and spitting out coin left and right, it's just not going to happen. And that's going to require a lot of work, more than I really want to put in. So we're just... We have most of the material we need for Chapter 4. I was just trying to avoid doing it. But to that end, uh, I really don't want to have to try and transport all the material over here into our room that we're doing Chapter 4 in. We're, we're going to repurpose this. Uh, so Chapter 3A will give us access to Ender Chests and ender tanks which will allow us to transport lava from the nether without needing to keep running back and forth through our portal now that downstairs here i've created a big old room and you'll notice it's lit up and why is it lit up well i didn't realize that we actually have feral feral lanterns uh, installed. Feral Lantern is pretty cool. It's from a mod called Torchmaster. In, I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, I don't know which one came first, but I'm fairly confident Thomcraft 4 came first, and that model looks exactly like the Thomcraft 4's uh, Lantern, whose name escapes me, and that makes me sad, but I haven't played TC4 for a while, so, eh. Um, does the same thing though, it just, it lights up the room with little glowy balls that we can't see. Uh, it just uh, takes care of, I don't have to place torches everywhere. I totally didn't notice that that was installed, and I guess it's not a huge deal because you can't, well you can access it once you hit brass. Uh, so it is actually kind of a huge deal because I should have been making tons of these uh, and placing them all over the place. That's my bad. Whatever. We, we made it. Alright, so what do we need for Chapter 3A, right? We already know uh, what we needed from the end, so we got that. We also need to have some Ender Dust, which we're going to have plenty of over here. So that's not a big deal. Uh, we actually have a full uh, drawer of Ender Dust. I guess it's Ender Dust, uh, that's what I'm calling it. Endermium Dust. Ender dust. All right, so we got a full drawer of that. Uh, we are going to need some silver, but not a ton. We're not going to be like mass producing all of this. We're going to be doing just like we do with the rubber one, the two A path, where we're just going to be making them as we need them. We don't need to super mass produce them. But this is the trail that is really. This is all easy. All of this. We can do that at any point. This is the trail that's going to be a little more difficult. So we went to the end, and now we need to get these tall police bushes, but we can't because we actually need... Uh, we forgot to bring a pair of shears with us, and I'm not going back uh, right now. I will after we make a portal over there, but right now I don't care. But we did get these blocks, and these blocks actually can be thrown into a phytogenic insulator to be turned into another item which then can be turned into these so that's what we're going to do first is make one of these guys the phytogenic insulator which means we need an invar machine and lumium gears so we get to have some fun making lumium again and i think okay we have a zinc machine there's some invar casing so we already can get our do we, wait do we need a because I'm going to be hitting phytogenic. I'm going to be hitting my inventory more than I hit my journal. Uh, we need an invar. Yeah, so we need the machine. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Do I have any over here? Uh, 
No, I do not. What? Oh, I'm, the invar doesn't help me. Well, I guess we need to get this thing rolling. And we do need to prime this. That is one thing that we need to do. So I'm just going to come over here. Uh, oh, no, I did that wrong. We need to dropper that, and then that'll take care of, okay, that'll take care of the problem. And hopefully there's enough torches. Uh, there's a good chunk of torches. There's plenty of you. There's plenty of you. Why are you not, oh, I know why. Because you're turned off, because I set it so that, yes, okay, we're good there. All right, that should, there we go. Okay, that sends it out through here. Right? Ah, oh, it's coming down. So this is another reason. Okay, I hate these so slow, and I know I can upgrade them, but to hell with that. Okay. And another one fell down. All right, so that's working. We'll let that do its job for a while. There's some phantoms up overhead trying to get in. Too bad for them. I see them on my mini-map. I don't hear them. They're just flying around. You can see them on my mini-map. Uh, all right, so what we need to do then is get... While that's working, we need to get some lumium. So lumium was weird, right? We needed to... Uh, redstone furnace. Okay, if I remember right, we needed to get energized glowstone. Okay, magma crucible, and then we put that into the fractionating still. And I think we have some of the, both of those over here. How much juice is in you, by the way? None, none. So probably need to get some juice in that. Oh, I think the very first ender chest I make is going to be to transport charcoal to all the various machines that require it. Alrighty, I don't see... I don't see the one that I was thinking of. There's the magma crucible, which has too much glass in it. Might be able to get that out. Uh, I thought. Oh wait, I know where the fractionating still is. Okay, and then you can just go here for now, and then over here I need to get some glowstone anyway. But over here is the tank that we had that glow. Uh, what you call it in? Yeah, energized glowstone in already. All right, I have some glowstone here, which is great. I'm just gonna make a bunch of it. Uh, we'll check to see what this is gonna produce before we throw all 12 of these in here, but... Let's see, one bucket. So... I think I need eight altogether. And I need to empty the rest of that out. There, that should be good. That'll give us enough glass. I don't even know if we're gonna need that anymore, but hey, why not? All right, while you're doing your job, very slowly, what else do I need? I need two glass. Well, we have plenty of glass. Dirt, got plenty of dirt. And a redstone uh, flux coil. Eh, I had some glowstone up here, too. So the redstone flux coil is two redstone and gold. I must have taken all the redstone out of my... Watch my columns. But then we also need to set up a system to uh, go through and make sure that we don't run out of the stuff. So it pro 
reduces oops two for every one block that we put in I think it was so my thought process is is we send one back and then send the other two out to do their stuff all right there's our coil uh, I guess we can get the silver going as well. So let let me take a look here. Journal. What is the silver required for? Inductive mechanism and dermium ingot is goes into an induction smelter with silver ingots. Okay, so I need silver ingots and right now I don't believe I I don't I haven't come across silver ore it does say it's available through occultism and darker depths it looks like maybe but I believe I can melt down these coins to make silver. So we're going to make sure that we do this in multiples of nine so that we're not, you know, having our poor foundry clogged up with silver. And hopefully I can do... I did 56, so uh, if I grab three more ingots worth, I can just make a block, and that'll be that'll be enough to do a few of these. Let's see how we're doing over here. Look at that, seven already. It is a very slow system. Again, once I uh, get this out of here and then just have it insta transport. <laughs> This will go a little bit faster. If I do decide to fight the Wither, then it could just be insta-made and we wouldn't have to worry about it, but I'm still a little nervous about that. The Ender Dragon was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. How do we get an extra two? I put 56 in, didn't I? I should have put 54 in. All right, so I need one. So that's one, and then I need what? That'll make seven, so I need two more. Uh, I need another 18. Yeah, I think that's enough. Ignore the blings. You're gonna hear that rapid fire here. I keep forgetting to turn messages off while I'm making these videos. I guess it makes it more real for everyone, right? Makes it more real for me. That should make me a one block of silver. All right, let's go downstairs and grab two glass and a dirt. And actually give me one second and I am going to turn that off because it will be very annoying here shortly. All right, we are back. Okay. Uh, yeah, I... The... Uh, one of the uh, Steam chats I'm in, they're just going back and forth over something. Uh, we don't need to listen to that, so... We're not going to. Ooh. All right. That's fine. I can do this. Uh, well, I could have done this. How about we do this. Ah, uh, come on. How about we do... Wow, you're just, you're just gonna do that, aren't you? There. Sneak! Actually, I have a bunch of coal I can shove in there. Alright, that should help.
it looks like it's just barely doing it, but it is helping. Yeah, we're going to have to set up an actual energy system, I guess, but we'll worry about that later. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We only needed one, so we're good with one. Where did I put that Invar casing? You know what? We're going to move this out of here. Um, I really should have a nice little... I'm probably going to be spending more time in here. I'll put it in there, right there. I should have made a nice little, like, shack or something over here for sleepy time. That's okay. All right. That's the Invar casing done. Now it's just a matter of waiting for stuff to uh, go. Look at this. I love how it just works. I love it. Uh, except you didn't drop. There you go. This all works. This works too well, in fact. I need to put a limiter on this because we just got too many of them, but... God, that's such a lovely thing when it works like that. Alright. How much do I got? I have three. Alright, if I use uh, the... No. Uh, Energize Glowstone. Alright, so go back to the Phytogenic. Phytogenic. So I need this Lumium gear stuff, so which requires Lumium. And it looks like I need Lumium Blend or a Fractionating Still, and one gets me one ingot. How about Blend? Okay, Blend is just through a Pulverizer. So... And I need... Ugh, eight. Yep, so I do need all eight. Ugh, that's gonna take forever. All right, while that's working, let's just take a peek and see what we need to do. So basically, we need to get this stuff. Recipe. We need to get this stuff, right? And to get that stuff, we need to fill water and give some energy to a phytogenic insulator to use to make poise bushes uh, into those. Well. To get poise bushes, we take the poise cluster and it turns it into an ender slime ball and three poise bushes. So, and then to make that, it's just the cycle of birth. It's the tall poise bush. Uh, no, wait, hold up. Recipe. Yes, okay, right. It goes forward. That gets turned into a tall poise bush, gets turned into a poise... Oh, sorry, tall poise bush gets turned into a cluster, which gets turned into a poise bush, which gets turned into a tall, boy, tall poise bush. It's the cycle of life. Uh, basically, every time we cycle through this, we're going to get three of these guys. One of them has to go back to the phytogenic insulator, and actually we're probably going to want to make two of these, but um, and it gets cycled through. Actually, do we need to make two of them? Let me think for a second here. How's How would that work? Uh, yeah, I think for now, I think two is probably going to be what we want to do. Um, which sucks, which means we need a lot more of this stuff. But now that I've got both of these guys working, it's going a little faster. Okay, so I need a bunch of belts. I need a bunch of andesite or brass funnels. I need a whole mess load of... I don't have any. I don't have any shafts. There's the shafts. I had to put them in here. Okay. I should probably make that into something. Yeah, but I require four of them. I could make more mini Ellen, I guess. Hmm. I 
Oh, okay. I don't really need... I don't really have a use for experience. I haven't been... Uh, oh, I have an Invar casing over here. I haven't been doing much in the way of needing experience. When we go against the Wither, it might be a good idea. I don't know how I'm going to fight the Wither. I don't know the best way of doing it anymore uh, without Wither-proof blocks. I guess I could just make a several layers deep obsidian chamber and do it that way. Though I think he can break obsidian eventually. Uh, but I should be able to kill him before he gets out of that. Oh, I have a ton of Invar machines, too. Shoot! You should be over there, not over here. Uh, I'll bring the brass funnels with me. But what I could really use this is some andesite tunnels. And I don't see any. Probably take those with me. Um... I think for now that's okay. First and foremost, I'm going to run everything through just so I can get one of these and get the chapter done. But, uh, okay, you're done. So we'll fill that up. <clears throat> okay. Come over here and... Eat me some cooked mutton. And keep running. Now then, I have a, whatchamacallit, upstairs. And honestly, I don't remember why it's over here. Because I made it before I had anything else. And I put it up here. goes way faster too. So that's going to make me four. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This might go over into a second episode. Just getting all the stuff we need is a pain in the butt. Alrighty, let's grab glowstone since I think I will need a second. I might as well just make it now, and if I don't need it, I can use it for something else. But we shall see. Yeah, I gave up on the buddy cards. This gear I have on right now is pretty good. It's not the best, but it's working. It did its job in the end, so... Alright, that'll get me... So I still have four ingots left over, even after that. Four ingots worth left over. So I should be able to just fill that again, right? Lumium ingot. Uh, so it doesn't... It's actually not four ingots worth. So weird. Whatever. Oh, you know what? Can I put this in the foundry and just use my gear... Will it melt? It will melt. And then I can just use my gear, uh... Uh, energize... Wait. Yeah. I could have just made this in the, uh... The foundry or the smeltery. Does it have to be a foundry or could it be a smeltery? See, this is suggesting I absolutely have to have blazing blood to make this. Where I do have it, but eh, it's just one nugget. And it still takes four ingots, so I might as well just do it. Alright, you're still working. Let me think.
Oh, I don't have any iron nuggets in there. Eh. That's another thing I need to upgrade. Uh, I thought I had a lot of iron hanging out. Is it in this one? Oh, wait. Eh, I have some in here. Uh, okay, let's go grab the rest of the lumium. We'll make the iron. Or the lumium gears once I get over here. Alright, we should be able to make the first one now. Just like that. Okay. Uh, hmm. For right now, because this is going to go downstairs, but because I want to get this working, like now, let's throw this in here. Uh, we need water. We need water. Okay, and then we need our items that we got from uh, the end. Where did we put those again? I think downstairs in that extra chest that I threw down there. Yeah, right there. Poise cluster. That was weird. Weird rendering thingy there. That was fine. Alrighty. Let's throw one of those in there, see what happens. Needs more water, I think. So we're gonna have to put a pump in there to pump it full of water. And I do believe Create is our only pump available to us. All right. We'll see how much water it takes. It's, it's going, it's doing its thing. I'll have to throw some upgrades in here to make it go a little faster. Maybe do some redstone control setups. Okay, well it took a bucket of water, so that's not that bad. And then if we throw the poise bush in there, and we get an ender slime ball out of it, which is pretty cool, because we can use that to repair the over slime on our gear. I don't really think there's much more we can do with ender slime at this juncture. Uh, I mean, pistons... Sticky notes, slime charm, which we don't really need. Ectoplasm, actually, if I remember right, we use that to make these phantas uh, phantasmal arrows, which shoot perfectly straight. So we don't have to worry about trying to aim. Alright, so there's our tall place bush come down get some more water to let that thing keep rolling i'm gonna have to put an infinite water source down there all right um so now we use that with silver and four ender dust and that'll get us one endermium ingot And silver will come from over here. The silver is the thing that's going to be a little bit annoying, but I think it should be fine. Where did we... That's the silver. Because we can always just make a ton and feed it to it, right? We don't need to have this on backup. It would be nice to have every, like, 64 of everything ready to go, but... Uh, we don't require it. So that, that, and that. Uh, 
should make us the endermium ingot. Let me go get f I guess a little bit more. All right, while that's working on the first one, let's go ahead and make ourselves an infinite water source right now. So that we don't have to keep running down here for it. All right, assuming my phytogenic insulator is somewhere in here, we'll just put the right there. Looks good to me. And we'll just do that. Uh, right. It would also help if I took some of that water and gave it to the insulin. Uh, uh, whatchamacallit? Phytogenic insulator. Whoopsies. Not what I wanted to do, but totally fine. We can work with that. That's what I wanted to look at. Uh, throw you in there. Boom, baby! Apparently we've already made this once before. Oh no, we probably found something. Oh no, put the water back. Okay. All buckets and tanks are not allowed in the hot bar anymore. Alrighty, so technically speaking, alright, so it definitely wants me to make a copper can of silver. <sighs> Recipe. All right, I need three copper ingots, and it'll get me a can of copper. <sighs> I hear you guys. Yeah, you're over there, all right. Well, luckily for me, you can stay over there. Oh, shoot. Ah, no, they're chasing me. Oh, boy. Um, <clears throat> food. <laughs> well, I guess I'm running this way for a little bit. I probably actually could fight them now and uh, win. Uh, now I just don't want to. Let's see if they're still there. Oh, they're still there. They caught scent of me. And it's not gonna be hard. It's not gonna be easy to get rid of them now. Go a ways. And they should unload. Of course, if they're sitting in the chunk that I have loaded, that'd be hilarious. They're gone. It's actually kind of ridiculous that I can cheese it like that, but hey. Saves me time. Alright, what was I doing? Copper. I need three copper. Hey, look at that. Three copper. And then it wants me to put... Um... Now, how much copper... How much silver, I guess, do I get out of one of these? I don't... One, four, four. All right, so it is one ingot's worth. I'll just throw the other two back into the foundry. I don't really care or need this. Cool. I didn't know I could do that. How did I do that? Oh, okay. Okay. I didn't know you could do that with the coins. I learned something new. Come on, silver. Ugh.
All right, I need to go get a silver ingot for that. But if I throw that in there, will it be great? I can't. Okay, well, I can throw the copper in there and get my copper back anyway. I'm assuming I can throw this into me as a substitute for silver. Like if I... No, why... Okay, what can I use this for then? I literally can't use this for anything. Ugh. I hate cans. Alright, throw you in there. Come back around. This energized stuff has to go upstairs again. Uh, portals are going to be nice once I get those set up. <laughs> I'm going to have portals everywhere. Uh, la 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 la. Okay. Use. So what do we need to do with you? Do we need to make a block of endurium? Is that what we're doing? That's a lot if that's what we need. No. Thank you. Let's, let's just take a peek here. Okay, so we do need the... Oh, okay. And then we use that around an ender casing. How do we make an ender casing? That's easy. I should probably make some of those right now. If I have any obsidian. Well, I have these, so... so... This is a little bit of an involved process, but it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. That'll get me one, two, three, four? No, two. Which will get me four altogether. Which will let me make two tanks and two... Water. It'll let me do a whole bunch of stuff. Clay can just go back on there, I don't care. But these have to go through the induction smelter, eh? Or is it that in the induction smelter? Okay, that gets me that, and then it's, um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need eight endurium ingots. This is going to take a while. Just take a whole stack. I don't know why I'm trying to count them out. Alrighty, so... We'll need a lot of silver, a lot of uh, ender dust, and a whole lot of water. So what I should do, actually, is get this downstairs and hooked up with a water source. Because uh, electricity is going to suck, water's going to suck more. Alright, so we're going to do water here. So why don't we put the phytogenic insulator like right in the middle. Except that I want this to be belt fed, so... We're going to actually just put something down so I can put this down on top of it. Now then, it does need power. And I probably would benefit from making a few more sterling generators, but for now we're just going to steal this one. Or sterling dynamos, I guess that's really called. Uh, do I need anything else from up here? Not right this second. I'm sure I'll need something else. Okay. Okay. 
And you know what? For right now, I think that'll be just fine. Oh, I know what I needed from over there. <laughs> I needed pump. Duh! And luckily I have a belt that's already feeding power right there, so all I really need is the pump and uh, the pipes. Darn, I was hoping I had some gears over here. Oh, I want this dinner tank so bad. I should have just sucked it up and did this a while ago. Uh, there's all of that that I think I need. Yeah, that should be fine. All the way back down. The portal's gonna be so nice. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but they will be. Alright. I need one of you guys to act as me, says me pump. And then, of course, we need to... Uh, uh. Uh. At least they waterlog themselves. Okay. That'll work. That'll work, except that... There. Now it will work. Oh, my lord! That's a turnin'. That's a turnin'. That should feed water. Oh, beautiful. Okay. Now we're in business. Okay, I got to remember. I'm going to keep this thing going for a while more. And that's fine too because I need to feed one into here. And then one down into here. And now power. All right. Uh, we're going to keep one of these on hand just so I don't accidentally cook it. Even though I don't need to worry about accidentally cooking it, I'm going to keep one on hand just so I don't accidentally cook it. Alright, I think now's a good time to make some speed upgrades. So the real question is what is a speed upgrade for thermal? Alright, let me see here. Increases process speed but reduces RF efficiency is a flux linkage amplifier it takes lead gear and uh constant hand plates uh, i don't have a easy method of making constant tan just quite yet yes i do it's just nickel and copper in an induction smelter i can make that all day long how are you doing you're ready to be emptied How are you doing? You need more whatchamacallums. And then you'll be ready. I'm gonna go get another phytogenic, because I, I do believe two is what the doctor's ordering in this situation. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to belt in the cluster, which will turn into three bushes. And three bushes will go out into another phytogenic, which will turn into three tall bushes. And then I'm going to send them down. They're going to go through not a funnel, but an andesite tunnel. And in one direction, what it'll do is it'll split off the... Uh, it'll split a single one off, which will return. What is going on? Eating my inputs like mad. We'll return to the first phytogenic insulator to start the cycle over again. 
and then the other ones will move on to the uh, smelter that I'll have down here specifically for this uh, to make this and then all I'll have to do is just feed it with enough whoa okay we're good there I'll just have to feed it with enough uh, silver and ender dust to keep going forever and I can do the ender dust just through a uh, you're never gonna go and I don't need you to I'm done I've got enough to make another one so I'm good there thank you for your service good night I'm gonna throw the can in here I'm gonna get rid of the can I'm pretty sure I can probably like dump it into a tank and then dump the tank back into the smelter but I am just way too lazy to do that for one single silver ingot even though silver is a little rare for us it's not overly rare we don't need to like worry about it oh my god it need it oh that takes forever yeah we definitely are gonna have to make the constant in all right throw that in there that'll make us another one we need a few more of those so we'll let the machine do its business. It sh we should have enough bushes there now. Uh, let's make some Constantin. Though that does require an induction smelter, unless we do it the hard way. Nickel. All right, I have nickel. And what was it? Cop okay, I have two Constantin. Is that all I need? How much do I need? <gasps> I only need two anyway. Go back in there. And then I need two lead gears. Uh, I have a lot of lead somewhere. Uh, maybe not a lot. Oh, but you know what? I have a lead gear. Or a lead gear. I have a gear. Not enough to do it, but if we go like this. And we'll just throw those in there, because why not? Alright, and then I need a redstone flux coil, like always. I was hoping to have, uh... Do I need two or three? Uh, two or one. It's one gold ingot. Two of these bad boys. I was hoping to have this setup done and have one of these ender tanks made and ready to go, but uh, hey, at least we're going to have something, right? Okay, lead. What else do we need? That's it. Two gears, two constant tin plates, and a coil. Perfect. see how this does. I'm not too concerned about it using up too much RF, but if it's not like super faster, not so much super fast, if it's not a noticeable amount faster, then I don't know is that I care. Eh, I mean, I guess it's a little faster. I don't really notice it very much. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't tell us the time it takes, like certain other mods do. <clears throat> Thermal series, you can, you know, try and be like your big brothers. Alright, that'll get a seven, so I just need one more tall. That'll get us eight all together, and then we can hopefully make what we need to make. Alright, so if I use the ender casing, that gets me the endermium endurium machine. Then if I use that with 
Okay, so what do we really want first? Like, what do we super want first? Because I'm kind of thinking an ender tank so that I can get lava out of the end, uh, the nether. But at the same time, do I really need to? Like, do I really need to get uh, lava that badly? I only am really using lava right now for, you know, the foundry. So my initial thought then is ender chests. And then I can use an ender chest for uh, a lot of stuff. Um, but specifically, it's going to be for coal transportation or charcoal transportation. And then we'll have one for wood. We'll have one for sticks. Uh, and what else are we like needing to get way far away? Uh, cobblestone and um, I think that's it right now. I am not thinking I want to, even though that will increase the speed, I don't really want to make those just quite yet. So kind of avoiding it. Oh, here we go. So, wait, no, wait, we have enough right there. Yay. Okay. Zoom. Wait, what did I do wrong? Oh, I need to make you guys. Oh, I need to make you guys. Okay, I need... Yeah, I have eight of those. All right, so where are you? Okay, I mean, good. Ah, oh, shoot. I should have left. What can I use slag for, by the way? Uh, I can use it to make phytoglow. Uh, I can use it to make a blah. It's for phytoglow. That's really all it's for. All right. There. Okay, well, <clears throat> uh, yeah, the, the revelries were a little, uh, one, one step a little too, uh, quick, but hey, hey, Fido Grow, not Glow, Grow. Oh, I wonder if, hold up. Can I use that inside? Where would you go? There you go. I can use it inside the... Yeah, but I'm only going to be using these for... I'm, I'll throw it in, but I don't know if it's going to help me make the stuff. Because I'm really only using this for ender chests and tanks and whatnot. I'm not... Uh, uh, whatever. Uh, ha, 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 ha. There you are, my good friend, the Endurium machine. <gasps> Look at all the stuff it gives us. How nice of it. It gave us yet another... Wow, it actually gave us quite a bit. So I can do two more. All right, so maybe I will do... Okay, I am going to do a tank. All righty, so first things first. I need to get some... I need to get some coloring materials here. Red, purple, and yellow will be good to start with. Okay. I also need three. Well, I have three. Three is actually not going to be very helpful. I need pairs of these guys. So, yeah, I guess I'll start with two. And go from there. Why do you keep doing that? It keeps eating my damn inputs. Alright, nuggets can go in there. 
Uh, I don't really have any room for anything, do I? Oh, dragon head I can put, like... Where do I want to put you? Um... There we go. Yeah! Alright. Anyone else find it a little disturbing that we cut the dragon's head off and took it as a trophy? No? Yeah, me neither. Boom! Ugh. Ah! Gah! Gah! You have no idea. You have you really have no clue how long I've been waiting for this one thing. This one item. Okay. So, I'm going to have to reset all of this stuff up, but here's the basic gist of it. I'm going to put you there, and I am going to... If you've never seen how this works, it works... It, where, where's my roses? Works exactly like a normal ender chest, except you can color code it. So now anything with three red is going to be linked. So it's exactly like a standard ender chest, except you can actually put different codes in and have like several diff several ender chests, not just one. So now I can come over here and um, where's my potatoes? Why do I not? And instead of having a drop-off point for charcoal, I literally can just do this. And do this. And when I come over here, I should have dumped a whole mess of charcoal into that chest. Just like a normal ender chest. You've, um, everyone's played around with ender chests in vanilla Minecraft. Well, this is its bigger, badder brother. Notice how it's pulling? It's because the hopper is pulling it. So what I think I can do instead of having this here, I'm just going to get rid of this whole pipe. I'm going to put a the ender chest here and I'm gonna put a hopper facing into it and that'll should pull the charcoal out and put it into the ender chest <laughs> and now I can just have and I don't have I can do more than just one so in reality I should grab actually one more and go like a so and just like a normal under, oh, yeah, would help if I did that the right way. Just like a normal under chest, is if you have more than one, it'll do the same thing. It just it opens up all the storage for all of it. And this is going to limit the amount of running back and forth I have to do. So I come over here, and I drop that down, and this... Probably the hopper's already pulled all of it, but we'll see. Nope, it hasn't. So now I can grab that and shove it in there. And let that keep running. And that's why I wanted 3A. So I can replace pretty much any long distance belt with that. I'm going to leave this one alone because it actually works fairly well. But like the sheet belt, I can replace it with one of those. Uh, it might actually make that go a little faster, too. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Any long distance belt. The sand. So I'm going to need sand from here all the way up there. And I'm going to do it from here, even though it might slow down a little bit later. Uh, for now, I'll do it. Uh, cobblestone? That whole minecart system that we have, that's going to go away. We're going to get rid of that next episode. We're going to get all of... The stuff that we need gone. And uh, I think that chest is like chock full 
Hence why the vacuumulator... Well, the vacuumulator should still be vacuumulating. Yeah, I don't know why that's not filling up. But again, we can we can fix that. Everything can be fixed. Why are you in the off position? Okay, you are in the off position, so you're off. So you should not be sending a signal. It sure looks like you are. I'm going to have to double check that. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, three A's done. I'm going to take a bit of time between now and next episode to make a whole mess load of this so that we're not, um, you know, waiting for it. I'm also going to, I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, speed this mess up a little bit so that this runs faster. I'm going to put a control, a speed up controller thingy on this and see if we can't make this go a little faster. Because everything's, it, everything's fast except the press. The press is very slow. I guess I could go over there and do the press. But anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we're not going to do our normal sign off because, well, it's boring and everyone says it. So I'm just going to say stay safe. This is Walker saying, and uh, check you later.